welcome once again to the Retirement Blueprint Show with Tim Lofton of Axum Planning and Wealth. I'm Spike Spangle. This is a very special show, Tim. It is. What's on your mind? 100. Woo! Yeah. And the crowd goes crazy. 100. 100 episodes. 100 episodes. 100 episodes. Yeah. That is and it amazing. it has been a pleasure. Uh, financial education. Pleasure. I mean, you have, you as a broadcaster have grown as a retirement income specialist. You've brought so much information to people all around Ohio. You have your weekly radio show that I, I get to enjoy hosting with you. Uh, but so many things we've covered. Uh, yeah. Man, I mean, you almost kind of started around COVID times. So that yeah. was three or four years ago. Uh, has your practice also grown in the last it, four it years? It has. We, we've been blessed, and, and thank you to uh, to the viewers. Uh, this this has been a, a journey that has uh, is near and dear to my heart because it, it is about education. It is about talking about you know retirement, and there's there's so many facets that we've shared, uh, so many stories uh, over the years of of people who have been impacted in a positive way because of the show, because of our practice. And it, it just, I feel very blessed and humbled yeah, uh, to and, be sitting you've, here. You've done a wonderful job. And I also know that you're a rock and roll guy. So I today's program guy, yeah. is called The Greatest Hits. Now yes. we're not gonna be, we're not just gonna play some greatest hits, although no. we do have a great package that the team has put together for you. Uh, but I also wanna review some of the stories that we talked about over the last few years to yeah. see, did they hold water? Uh, oh, we've got your Dow Jones and, and your license plate prediction and, and all that and more. But uh, a lot of different things have, have turned 100 this year as well. They, they have. Uh, interestingly enough, King Tut's tomb. Uh, so, uh, you know, it was, it was interesting. I was, I was doing some research and Howard Carter discovered that tomb and opened it almost exactly 100 years ago. Wow, and uh, the Hollywood sign you just told me is yeah. 100 years old. So the Hollywood sign uh, was built in 1923, and it used to say Hollywood land. Yes. Not until 1949, they removed the land. They still have the Hollywood sign up, but it also is 100 years old. 100 years ago, they developed uh, bird's eye frozen foods. Yes. I don't know how I would have gotten through college without some frozen foods. I don't, and, and if it weren't for the frozen peas, I wouldn't be able to ice my elbow right. uh, when it <laughs> hurts right. from tennis. Well, so. you know, all that tennis and then all that extra pickleball. Pickleball, yes, yeah, definitely pickleball. Everybody knows us in the pickleball. Uh, but you know what? Uh, the team here has put together a package of your 100 episodes. It's a, it's a stroll down memory lane, if you don't mind All us right. taking a look at Let's it. Let's take Tim. a look. Levi, why don't you go ahead and roll the package for him. I'm joined today by Tim Lofton, and Tim is CEO of The Retirement Blueprint. We're very passionate about what we do and who we do it for. My special guest, Mr. Tim Lofton. Tim. Welcome back to the show, my friend. We're trying to create a calm mm -hmm. in a world of chaos. Tim Lofton, he is the founder of the Retirement Blueprint. Unbelievable that we've had that many episodes already. As an independent firm of Axum, you have kind of the whole world, the whole menu. I'm talking about some of the things that maybe people aren't aware of. But every single week, we try to help you with retirement planning solutions. Craft a plan that is going to work for you and your family so that you can retire and stay retired. Well, Tim, what do you think? Well, that was <laughs> great. That was great. I uh, there was a, a couple hairstyles there that I'm I'm rethinking. I, uh, I can say that yeah. for both of us. Yes. <laughs> uh, I looked a little Burt Convy in some yeah. of my clips in there as well, but uh, more so just uh, looking at the smiles, looking at the joy, the energy that yeah. you bring. Um, uh, you've also you've also kind of ground through a few of his hosts, but I'm I'm glad that we found a place together. It's yeah. been a lot of fun, man. It has been great. I mean, it, it really. I, I think uh, you know one of the things that comes up in the office all the time there people ask about you they're like they're like you know me yeah no. <laughs> they do they they say hey that that spike guy uh, you know so they you know it, it's not just me it's definitely both of us they they, they enjoy our messaging and, and what we have to say but a uh, hundred uh, especially when it comes to television episodes today I mean look at Netflix look at Hulu look at anywhere I mean yeah. when you and I grew up uh, a season of television used to mean at least 22 to 24 episodes. Right. Now you see a season of something, it's eight or 10 episodes. Right. You've done 100 episodes. That means you've been committed to the education, committed to the preparation, committed to helping people, committed to answering 
the calls from the folks who dial that phone number and come in and use the QR code along with running the practice and so forth. Right. So you've really done a great job here in Ohio. It's my pleasure to be able to host with you. Uh, what are some of the other things that, that have turned 100 this year? Walt Disney. Uh, the really? the mouse is is a hundred. Well, you know what's something interesting about the mouse with that though is that also the uh, the copyright has gone away because there was something about a certain amount of time on the copyright. So right. I guess I guess the older you get, you get you get public domain on your assets. <laughs> well, the uh, bulldozer. What would we do without the bulldozer? What would we do without, the, would bulldozer? We do without the bulldozer? The bulldozer. A hundred. A hundred years. hundred years old. How about this though for for our viewers? Uh, even just in the last thirty years. Yeah. Retirement tools, retirement planning mm -hmm. has completely changed. We completely. call it today's modern retiree. What kinds of changes have you seen in the tools? Well, let me, let, me, let me start out with this way. When I first started in the business, there was no Windows. There was no iPhone. There was, you know, it, it, it has changed just from a technology standpoint is a completely different universe than we lived in. And the investment availability to the general public has changed. I mean, if you think about, you know, the birthplace of online and the internet and what that's allowed people to do from 401k investing to self-directed investing, their ability to get information, uh, not all of it good, uh, you know, be yeah. careful of Google, uh, put that through a filter. But at the end of the day, we have, have the ability and access to things that we've never had access to, uh, you know, 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. As you see, folks, over here, we got the, the 100th episode behind us, uh, 100 episodes of doing the Retirement Blueprint Show, and even the tools themselves. Gosh, I would say in the last two years, yes. tools have changed. Yes. We're talking about the refinancing your retirement using tools like annuities. Mm -hmm. How have these changed? Why did they change so much in the last 24 months? A an annuities and life insurance both have gone through a major shift because of the fact that interest rates have been higher. And so people have been able to lock in higher rates. In many cases, they've been able to take lower rates that they had before, refinance those into higher rates, which is generating higher income, higher returns. Uh, the, the life insurance piece has become a critical part of the long-term care solutions. And so we're continuing to see, and this, listen, it has to do with the demographic. You know, we're getting older as a country. A large population is getting older. And so it only makes sense that the industry is going to respond with solutions that support that. Right. And I think on your social media, you also had what's changed recently, uh, Dow Jones 40,000, yes. right? And so yes. uh, we had hit it and then it went back down to 38, 39, mm -hmm. then it went back up to 41, then it went back down, then it's all around 42. Who knows right. if it's going to hold, but uh, 100 shows from now, where do you think the Dow Jones could be at? Well, I don't know about 100 shows, but I, I will make the same prediction that I made. So I had a license plate that said Dow 40K, but I got that license plate in 2000. And I, I said at that point, I said, you know, probably, probably uh, somewhere around, you know, 10 or 15 years, we should see the Dow that was at 10,000 go to 20, 20 to 40. That made sense to me 20 years out. I was close, COVID hit, kind of derailed. You can actually see the picture on our Axum uh, Facebook page of the, of the license plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that prediction 20 years from now, Dow 80K. Dow 80K. All right. You're going to have to change your license plate. i got to find out if it's available. All right. We're going to continue with this 100th episode of the Retirement Blueprint Show with Tim Lofton of Axum Planning and Wealth. Folks, don't go anywhere. In fact, we want to get you your own retirement blueprint. Call the phone number down on the bottom of the screen. We've got folks standing by. There's no cost to do it. We've got so much more in our 100th episode for Tim Lofton. Don't go anywhere. In fact, the process hasn't changed. Here's a message about how Tim and the team work at Axum Planning and Wealth. Do you feel like you're stuck when it comes to retirement with more questions than answers? For example, do you understand the impact inflation will have on your savings? Are you prepared if something happens to your spouse? How will you replace their income? Is your estate plan up to date? Would a nursing home stay potentially wipe out your retirement savings? If any of these questions are on your mind, we would like to invite you to sit down with one of our financial retirement advisors and discover our trademark process, the Retirement Blueprint. 
Any successful retirement starts with a plan. Let us plan your tomorrow today. As Americans, we strive for better. From a better house, to a better career, to a better life for our kids. Better has become the American way. But when it comes to your retirement, what does better mean to you? More income, flexible lifestyle, better solutions? A better retirement begins with a better plan. To claim your retirement readiness review, call the number you see here. You only retire once. This is your opportunity to plan for better. Welcome back to the Retirement Blueprint Show with Tim Lofton of Axum Planning and Wealth. If you can see this behind us, we are celebrating Tim's 100th episode. You, you might be wondering, yeah, so if you just tuned in, you know, why do we look like a couple of guys from The Sopranos? Well, I just want to be clear that, that we are not 100. No, no, yeah, the, we're the, not. The, the yes, that would be has a that would be episode. amazing stem cell yes, research yes. that must have happened. But I said, hey, let's let's wear the dark stuff today so yeah. we could kind of look a little, yeah, a little Clooney, uh, Brad Pitt. You know, I don't know of, if I, I think we more look like Fred and Barney, but you know, whatever. I, th I think we're trying right. to look good for for the episode here. But what other hundreds? What are some other things that turned a hundred this year? Well, you know, and and I thought about this uh, as I was flying recently. Did you know that before the the light systems at the uh, airport for landing planes, they used to do it with bonfires? <laughs> so a hundred years ago, they were using bonfires for you to. <laughs> land your plane. So I, I'm, I'm glad. I mean, I don't know what they did if it rained. I mean, it, <laughs> <laughs> you may, have, you may have overshot. Uh, sorry, I, folks. I, your plane I, is four I, hours really, late because it flew over. It, it our flew bonfire. over. We didn't see the bonfires. It, Man, that just that much change yeah. in our lifetime. I mean, we think technology. We think you know Microsoft. It, no, it was, it was bonfires. Yeah. Bonfires and lighted runways. I mean, hey, that's other I, hundreds since today is one of our greatest hits show. We're obviously rock and roll fans being here in Ohio. Mm. You're a big fan of rock and roll, but we're doing some of the greatest hits here. We're gonna do some stories. See if they still hold their weight today but uh, one of my favorite shows do you remember when I pitched you the 100 reasons to have long-term care yes that was a, that that was was great a, show. that was a barn burner I mean I'm telling you I mean I can't imagine that people probably still search that on YouTube uh, that, to, to that actually... show is probably still airing somewhere on channel 2800 uh, yeah, somewhere. Right, somewhere someone's like we're only at number 57 oh, how, are gonna, how are we gonna get through these in, in one episode it... <laughs> oh but some of the things that uh, that we were talking about over the last couple of years in your hundred episodes was uh Really, really high inflation. Yes. But then there were so many people who were clamoring for the very clear recession that was coming, right? right. This was 2020, 2021. Mm -hmm. And then the obvious crash in the housing market that was going to be coming. Right. Did those things happen, Tim? Uh, the housing crash? Still waiting for that one. Yeah. No, I mean, listen, predictions are predictions. I remember, this, this is like, I was probably in sixth grade. And I used to go over, I walked uh, to my great aunt and uncle's house after elementary school every day. And my uncle used to watch that Louis Rukeyser. Remember Wall Street Week with Louis Rukeyser? Yes, we're old. Uh, at least I am. Spike's not. <laughs> I, rem I'm, I'm I remember the name. But I've heard of it. Anyway, he used to have this panel on every year. And they'd have like nine or ten guys say, here's where we think the market's going to go. Well, guess what? One of them was always right. Not the same one, but one of them. And then they would have him back on and they would interview him. As, predictions are predictions. And, you know, we, we have, you know, economic philosophy and we have, you know, this theology that if this happens, then that should happen. But we don't know. We don't know when the next thing is going to be, but we do know that there will always be that thing. I used to do a, a seminar with uh, Time Magazine covers, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. And it was exactly the same. You know, war and terrorism around the world, political turmoil, and economic disaster every decade. That doesn't change. It matters what you do during those times. It's not a matter of if things are going to go wrong. They're absolutely going to go wrong. But if you have the right solutions, if you have the right strategies, if you have a plan, you don't have to worry about those headlines. 
One of the shows that I, that I reviewed for our 100th program here was taking a look back at what moves you need to make before the end of the year. Right. One of them was do, looking at your, your taxes, mm -hmm. saying you only had a couple years left on being able to do this. The tax window was closing. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, is that still relevant today? But before we do that, the team has put together a special package for you. And a producer is telling me in my ear right now, it's like, uh, we're getting phone calls saying that they want to see those old pictures of you again. Uh, I guess this is getting is there, some... Is there a way to avoid that? Nope, there, we're getting There's some nice, good it, traction it, it's, it's going here to happen. in Ohio. Okay. Do me a favor, fellas. Cue that up again. Put together the package for Tim. joined today by Tim Lofton, and Tim is CEO of The Retirement Blueprint. We're very passionate about what we do and who we do it for. My special guest, Mr. Tim Lofton. Tim, welcome back to the show, my friend. We're trying to create a calm mm -hmm. in a world of chaos. Tim Lofton, he is the founder of The Retirement Blueprint. Unbelievable that we've had that many episodes already. As an independent firm of Axum, you have kind of the whole world the whole menu. I'm talking somebody. about some of the things that maybe people aren't aware of. But every single week, we try to help you with retirement planning solutions. Craft a plan that is going to work for you and your family so that you can retire and stay retired. When you call the phone number that comes up on the bottom of the screen, please tell me which hairstyle of Tim's is your favorite. And then say you'd like to get your retirement blueprint. <laughs> Tim, I love you. 100 episodes. Yeah, man. I mean, is there an amount of money that I can pay to not have that air again? No, no. no I th we're we're going we're gonna to be putting that out on, okay. on every station. That's, that's great. No, I look ridiculous. There was some time, I think they didn't like me on purpose. They're like, we don't we don't want to see Spike. We want to see more Tim. <laughs> and that's that's totally fine. Well, as I said before, the, the package, though, um, one of the things we said almost two and a half years ago, was right. you need to review your taxes. The yes. tax window of efficiency is closing. Mm -hmm. Those Trump tax cuts coming 2025. Yep. Is this still relevant? Well, it's absolutely relevant. Taxes are relevant. It's one of the largest expenses we have in retirement. So, you know, as as we look at, you know, election year and what are taxes going to be? And the answer is we don't know. We, we, we don't know. Uh, you know, taxes may sunset. They may increase. They may decrease. What you do when that happens, how you prepare, the strategies that you choose will matter. They will absolutely matter. And this is a perfect time. If you're trying to figure out where are taxes going to land, what's going to happen to Social Security, what is going to happen with, with the election and, and you know the economy, if those are worries that are on your mind, it's only because you don't have a plan. If you have a plan, you know exactly what you would do in those scenarios. Thank you for bringing up uh, Social Security. I really do appreciate it because that is part of the tax efficiency planning. That is something that is incredibly important right now. And over the last 50 episodes that we've done together, that's something we've been talking about a lot. So maybe we can discuss that a little bit when we get back. Uh, folks, we know that getting your tax planning, getting your investment planning, getting your estate planning, putting together all of this can seem overwhelming, but that's exactly why Tim and his entire team at Axum Planning and Wealth have put together your retirement blueprint. Now, this isn't a printable. This isn't just a booklet that gets sent out to you. This is your process tailored for you, your family, your goals, your longevity in retirement. To get started on your own retirement blueprint, just call the phone number right now down at the bottom of the screen. We have folks standing by at our secure call center who will schedule that appointment for you and we'll sit down with your dedicated session at the incredibly high inflationary price of zero times zero. There's no cost to sit down with Tim and the team and get your retirement blueprint started. But a message about Social Security that's on Tim's mind right now. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this message. Social Security is easy, right? The question is, should I take it now or later? Well, there are dozens of ways that you can take Social Security if you're single and hundreds if you're married. You've paid into the system for decades. Don't you want to make sure that you optimize your retirement income? Depending on how you've set up your other retirement accounts, your Social Security could either be tax-free or up to 85% taxable. It's not as simple as it might seem. So give us a call today. Let us uncomplicate Social Security for your retirement. 
give us a call at 855-684-3485, or you can scan the QR code below to schedule your complimentary review. Birthday party for Carolyn Five. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Good morning, Ben. Happy Monday. Daryl's birthday. Be there every square. Happy birthday to you. As you can see from our quarterly report on slide number 62, we're trending in the right direction. All signs point to a very positive outlook for the next several years. If you peel back the onion... Ben? Ben? Do you have anything to add? The work never seems to end until the day it finally does. Call today to get your free written financial plan so you may live every day to the fullest and enjoy the retirement of your dreams. Welcome back once again to the Retirement Blueprint Show. If you can see it behind us, we are celebrating Tim Lofton's 100th TV episode, 100 episodes 100. of financial education. What have we done? Have we done the same on radio, though, as well? Have we done that many? It's, it's getting close. I, I, think we have, uh, I think we have more TV than radio shows at this point, which is interesting. Well, what's, what's scary to me is the amount of time that I have Tim Lofton in my ear yes. every single week. You're welcome. No, it's, you're it, welcome, it, you're, Spike. I love it, man. Hey, you know, we talk about uh, the number 100. We, we've reviewed some of the things uh, from past shows, but right. what about taking the retirement plan out to 100? If we're constantly talking about longevity, yes. is this a reality maybe within your lifetime of financial planning? Of course. I, I mean, if, if we're already looking at a life expectancy for a married couple of one of them making it to 94, uh, and you look at, let, let, let's go back to when Social Security started. Social Security started, the average life expectancy was 64 years old, right? 64. Uh, you claimed it at 65. It worked itself out. I mean, they didn't, they didn't have a Social Security funding problem at that point. You fast forward now, we're living 30 years longer than when Social Security first started. And it's not a stretch for us to go from 94 to 100. And, you know, you've had longevity in mm -hmm. your family. We've talked about your grandparents. I've had longevity in my family and my grandparents. That was two generations ago. But when, when you talk about making sure we can cover that retirement gap, yes. and we want to make sure that, that no one runs out of money in their retirement, right. do you expect some pushback if we start to say to folks, look, I'm taking your retirement plan minimum out to 100? <laughs> I get pushed back with guys <laughs> now at 80. I won't be alive at 80. It's like they're circling the drain at 73. You know, it's like, you know, what do you mean you won't be alive? Oh, I just want, I said, well, here's, here's the deal. Your, your, your wife will. So this money has to still last. It still has to do its thing. Uh, there's always going to be pushback. Here's the thing. Let's say that I tell you you're going to live to 100, and I'm wrong. What's the downside? I've, I've got money left over for the family. What happens if you say you're going to live to 80 and live to 100? No. I'm out of money. You run out of money, right? So whose who's plan do you want to use? There's nothing wrong with, with going ahead and stretching that out. Medicine is making a big gain, but we are just making better decisions. We're eating better, we're healthier, we're exercising. We're living differently than we did just 25 years ago. Right, so 100 episodes, possibly living to 100. We wanna make sure that our income lasts throughout that entire time. Yeah. What, what have been some of your takeaways or experiences? I mean, how do you feel? Can you remember show one? How does it feel different when you sit uh, well, on the set Well, it's today? easy. It, show one, I was like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> I remember, you know, Cynthia, uh, who was former, Great host, former uh, Mrs. Ohio, mm -hmm. former Mrs. America, uh, was, was so kind, and I was so 
uh, terrified on exactly how all this worked. And to fast forward now to all the shows that you and I have done together, uh, you know, for those watching the show, you, you see Spike and I, but understand there's a ton of people behind the scenes. Uh, Levi and Brett are in the in the booth right now doing doing this, making this show amazing. We have people that do editing. We have the sound people. Uh, there are so many people involved in producing a hundred shows that you never see, that you never get to interact with. And I just want to say thank you, uh, Spike. And I want to say thank you to you. I mean, you have been amazing to work with. Uh, of the two of us, in case you guys didn't know, Spike is the actual professional broadcaster. <laughs> I'm just a finance guy talking about finance stuff on TV. He's actually a TV guy, uh, which <laughs> is is certainly a, a, a nice benefit. But for the 100 episodes, for all of those out there that have been watching and supporting and given us such positive feedback, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for the kind words, the emails, the letters, the phone calls. It means a lot. Uh, we work very, very hard to give you information that will help you, that will help your family. And this has been such a rewarding and humbling experience to share this with our audience. Well, Tim, I want to thank you as well for that. Uh, the amount of preparation that you do makes my life easier. Um, I will say this, I mean this 100%. I don't think I've worked with anybody who has improved more than you have. Now thank what you. you bring to me, I know. When he says, Spike, don't worry, we've got the notes. I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure? And you do, and you, and you really bring it. And you do it just like that, with a well, smile it keep, on it your keeps face. You, it keeps you up on the weekends. Some if, weekends. If, if we're not we, prepared, are we I, know, I know that you're, you're, you're not going to sleep well, and so I, I definitely don't want to see that. Yeah, no, but uh, it, it's been fantastic ride doing this. But the most important thing is not just like in our TV studios, how there's an entire team behind us, but there's an entire team behind Tim supporting him as well. The tax team, the estate planning team and professionals, the investment team that helps helps and supports you, who can help you, our viewers, get your own retirement blueprint. Tim, take it home. We got 30 seconds. Well, lastly, I want to thank my wife. Uh, she puts up with so much. Uh, this takes up so much time and planning, and she's been there. Uh, she's cheered for me. Uh, she's rooted for you and I, Spike, uh, a as a team, and I just want to tell her thank you. And I want to thank Tim's wife as well. Now, I, Carrie has supported Tim throughout this. It really is a family business. It's a family process. We are a family, and thank you for being part of our television family and watching 100 episodes. Please look forward to our next 100, but get your retirement blueprint. Thanks for watching.